Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at a cheap and pretty quick way on how to convert your DC layout into DCC. So yeah, let's get started. Essentially, for those who don't know, my layout here is, if I zoom out, is the six foot by four foot um, layout that Hornby, I guess, they make as their, their standard track mat. This little edge down here was the, the track mat itself it was the old old sort of design from quite a while ago and that's basically what my layout was set up like it was made for me by my dad and my granddad way before DCC was sort of around so it's a DC only layout well it certainly was to start off with and for a very long time if you look down here this is what I used to control it with so when I first well when I was a bit younger and first started getting into the hobby I got quite a lot of the just the standard Hornby sets like the Flying Scotsman set, Eurostar set, stuff like that where you got a lot of track, um, a track mat, I've got about four or five of them um, and you got these these controllers here, now these are obviously the earlier versions, they came out with a, a cheaper more plasticky one later on and they might still do that now to be honest, I'm not sure. But anyway, as you can see we've got one which is the inside tight loop there two is obviously the middle and three is the outer one and that is under DCC, DC power sorry um, where I've got these track inlets here so this one here is going I've got the wire running out down here to number three this is number two here coming out and under this track and then number one if I go over the top here used to be in there now in the last sort of few years um, DCC has really become a thing with sound and everything and I wanted to sort of jump on that bandwagon as well and convert my layout but it's quite a difficult sort of layout to do that with to be honest just because of the layout um, it is essentially just three loops on a baseball there's no real interesting you know crossing sidings junctions stuff like that really We've got the, the TMD area here, but for those of you who don't know, I can't actually <laughs> move the engines from there out onto the, out in there, unless they're the little P classes, just because of um, how tight the radius is once it gets out there. Um, and yeah, I still wanted to have DCC so I could double head and I didn't have to worry about constantly switching all the engines um around manually um so yeah i looked into quick and easy ways on how to do it and this is what i sort of found was the best way um on a budget if you're just wanting to do it quickly so starting with the controller then it's nothing special um it's the hornby dcc select i believe or D yeah if i remember correctly i got it quite a while ago on ebay um second hand just because i was wanting to do this as cheap as possible um, as I have plans to either completely redo this layout or start a brand new one. So we've got the mains power coming in there and this wire here is where all the magic happens. So on the left hand side of these DC controllers you can see I've got all the power inlets there and essentially if I've, I've got sort of just a rule to myself, if they're all in then I'm all on DC. So if I was going to switch over to DCC now I would take all of these out just so we don't have any confusion or any issue with any of the power and then I would take these powers um, uh, power inlets sorry um, out as well but it's quite hard to do with one hand while holding the camera so once I've done that I'd make sure obviously the mains wasn't connected I would disconnect these and then I would get the wire here we go so one thing to note with the power here you do want to make sure um, you put the right end essentially in the power um, clip in the track here. Um, this was actually, I actually I had a fourth one of the DC power um, uh, controllers and you know the cables that are fixed to them that feed up into the inlet. I actually just essentially just chopped one of them off, split the end and put it in the back of the DC C select and 
you can maybe just see there that one of the wires has a slight white um, finish to it and that basically lines up with A and B on the back of the controller and um, A and B on the top there. So you want to make sure that, um, which way does this go in? Once again, very difficult to do with one hand. You want to make sure you got them in the right way and they um, are in the same place as the DC select. Okay, and now this is where I found the really tricky bit because for those of you who can't tell or didn't know, um, my third outer loop here is not connected in any way to the inner two tracks. That was, I guess, well, I just never thought about it at the time. I designed, when I got the, the layout from my grandparent, well, my dad and my granddad, um, it, had, it came with the two tracks, they built that, and I added in this third track myself um, later on and I just didn't really think to, to add a connection. Uh, <laughs> I was quite young and I hadn't really thought about it. So yeah, that is um, that was the main issue to overcome. And basically Hornby, I found, sell these little connections. Now I hope this is sort of showing up for you. You get two in a pack and essentially what they do is, um, what I normally do is I'll take this out, this power, clip there and you can put one from B into B on here and A into A on there and essentially means that the power obviously feeds into the controller we've then got the power lead all the way up into this that then DCC electrifies the complete outer edge then from here into here we've then got the power um, transferring into this middle track there and then that is where these come in. Now, whether or not this works as well, I don't know, but I don't know how well you can see that, but, um, come on, yeah. Um, let's see if I can do it on the grass there. You see those little clips there? You've probably seen them before. I put those in between the points here. You normally need two for each point. Um, as you can see, I've still got them here. But when I've been using DC, I take them out. You have to remember that, otherwise it will transfer the current into the the next track. And um, so yeah, so when I've been running DC, um, I've obviously taken them out of all these mainline ones, but on the, the, the goods yard or the, what am I talking about, TMD area, um, I've still left them in um, because not having them there cuts the power to there. So yeah, that's quite a, a quick way of how to, I guess, cheaply convert your layout to DCC from DC. Um, like I said, I had quite a lot of issues. Um, just mainly, mainly it was trying to get the connection between these two tracks. For those of you who don't know, DCC, essentially you have a current running through the track at the um, continuously through the whole layout. It's an AC current and through that current um, you basically send signals from the controller to the chip inside the engine whereas obviously on DC you turn the power on um, and that I guess denotes how how much power um, the engine has to move and which direction it goes in so you need to have a constant connection between all the tracks that you want running um, so yeah I think if I did it again I would definitely go down the route of just wiring it up completely and probably not having a DC option. Um, but if you're like me and you start with the DC and you want a relatively cheap way um, to do it and you have to overcome some difficulties like the ones that I have, then yeah, I hope this helps. And it's, it's seemed pretty effective so far. Um, one thing to note, I do use the Hornby. Well, the points on here are the just the normal Hornby ones. I, think those are insul frogs, I got electro frogs and insul frogs I think is how you say it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure of the difference of those. I've been starting to look into to those for the future layout and setup. So if any of you know the exact differences and the benefits of each, um, then feel free to leave a comment. That would be great, greatly appreciated. 
but yeah hope this helped and i'll see you in my next video